Good morning. Welcome to Coffee with Pastor. I have a nice hot cup of coffee right here, and I have my copy of the Word of God open to the book of Ecclesiastes, the book of Ecclesiastes and chapter 2. While you are turning there, let me draw your attention to the bad dad joke, and let's see. How do you fix a cabbage? How do you fix a cabbage? With a cabbage patch. Okay, we'll put that aside, and again, good morning to you. We trust that today has started out well, and it is only going to get better from this point on. There's a lot of things going on in the world today, and you can't help but picking up the news and just shaking your head at some of the things that are going on, from explosions to uh, corruption to who knows what else. But please remember, God is still on the throne. He is still on the throne, and he is still ruling in the affairs of men. And so take comfort in that. Take courage in that. And just um, face the day knowing that nothing is going to happen to you today that is not already Father approved. Your Heavenly Father has already said that this will work out for the best in the long term. And so keep that in mind and remember that God loves you. Again, let me just say thank you for joining us. Again, Ecclesiastes chapter 2 is where we'll be reading this morning, and we trust that you will be following along with us. But let's bow together for a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, good morning. We come into your presence knowing that you are indeed the sovereign of the universe. And to stop, to contemplate the fact that we can come into your presence and have audience before your throne. Father, we come into your presence knowing full well that it is through Christ and through Christ alone that we can come. Father, we thank you. We thank you for this opportunity. And as we stand in your presence, we pray for each one that is going to join us throughout this day. Father, we lift them into your presence and ask for your blessing upon them. We pray that you would encourage them today. We pray that you would continue to meet each and every need that they have, however that need may present itself. Father, we come into your presence. And Lord, we have the glorious privilege of opening up your word that we can read together, that we can study together, that we can meditate on. And Lord... We pray that you would bless it to our hearts and lives. We pray that through the sanctifying work of your word and your spirit, that you would make each one of us Christ-like. Father, we come before you. And we do ask that today, today we would be focused on doing your will and your work. Guide us each step of the way. Father, give us eyes to see those that are around us and to realize each one has various needs. Father, that we might have words of encouragement, words of comfort. Father, that we would have words that would direct their attention to Jesus Christ. And Lord, again, glorify yourself in this world. Thank you, Father. May your people strive to be faithful in everything we say, everything we do, everything we think. Father, may you be pleased with us. We ask this in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Ecclesiastes, chapter 2. I said in mine heart, Go to now. I will prove thee with mirth. Therefore enjoy pleasure, and behold, this also is vanity. I said of laughter, It is mad, and of mirth, what doeth it? 
I sought in mine heart to give myself to wine, yet acquainting mine heart with wisdom, and to lay hold on folly till I might see what was that good for, for the sons of men, which they should do under the heaven all the days of their lives. I made me great works, I builded me houses, I planted me vineyards, I made me gardens and orchard, and I planted trees in them of all kinds of fruits. I made me pools of water to water therewith, the wood that bringeth forth trees. I got me servants and maidens, and had servants born in my house. Also I had great possessions of great and small cattle, above all that were in Jerusalem before me. I gathered me also silver and gold, and the peculiar treasure of kings and of provinces. I get me men singers and women singers, and the delights of the sons of men as musical instruments, and that of all sorts. So I was great, and increased more than all that were before me in Jerusalem. Also my wisdom remained with me, and whatsoever mine eyes desired, I kept not from them. I withheld not my heart from any joy, for my heart rejoiced in all my labor, and this was my portion of all my labor. Then I looked on all the works that my hands had wrought, and on the labor that I had labored to do, and behold, all was vanity and vexation of spirit, and there was no profit under the sun. And I turned myself to behold wisdom and madness and folly. For what can the man do that cometh after the king, even that which hath already been done? Then I saw that wisdom excelleth folly, as far as light excelleth darkness. The wise man's eyes are in his head, but the fool walketh in darkness. And I myself perceived also that one event happeneth to them all. Then said I in my heart, As it happeneth to a fool, so it happeneth even to me. And why was I then more wise? Then I said in my heart, That this also is vanity. For there is no remembrance of the wise more than of the fool forever. Seeing that which now is in the days to come shall all be forgotten. And how dieth the wise man, as the fool? Therefore I hated life, because the work that is wrought under the sun is grievous unto me. For all is vanity and vexation of spirit. Yea, I hated all my labor which I had taken under the sun, because I should leave it unto the man that shall be after me. And who knoweth whether he shall be a wise man or a fool? Yet shall he have rule over all my labor, wherein I have labored, and wherein I have shown myself wise under the sun. This also is vanity. Therefore I went about to cause my heart to despair of all the labor which I took under the sun. For there is a man whose labor is in wisdom, and in knowledge, and in equity. Yet to a man that hath not labored, Therein shall he leave it for his portion. This also is vanity and a great evil. For what hath man of all his labor, and of the vexation of his heart, wherewith he hath labored under the sun? For all his days are sorrows, and his travail grief. Yea, his heart taketh not rest in the night. This is also vanity. There is nothing better for a man than, he, than that he should eat and drink, and that he should make his soul happy, good in his labor. This also I saw, that it was from the hand of God. For who can eat, and who else can hasten thereunto more than I? For God giveth to a man that is good in his sight, wisdom, and knowledge, and joy. But to the sinner... He giveth travail, to gather and to heap up, 
that he may give to him that is good before God. This also is vanity and vexation of spirit. You know, when we approach life without considering God's hand, all is indeed vanity and vexation of spirit. Everything this world has is going to pass away. Only what's done for Christ will last. Hence, I'm going to encourage each one of you to remain faithful. Remain faithful to God in all that we say, do, and think. Beloved, never allow yourself to become someone else's stumbling block or an excuse that turns them away from Jesus Christ. Beloved, have a wonderful day. Remember, God loves you, and so do we. And until tomorrow, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen.